In this problem, we're being asked to find the area of this triangle. And you know the formula for the area of a triangle. It's 1 half of the base times the height. This is not a right triangle, or at least it doesn't look like it. We know that one angle is 39 degrees, but we don't know either of the other angles. Um, so when you have a triangle that's not a right triangle, you drop an altitude. And this is our height right here. But we don't know a measure for that. And um, so how are we going to do this? Well, luckily, we do have this angle degree. And we have one side here. Well, we actually have two sides. But uh, in, in the case of the right triangle we've just made, this smaller right triangle, we have an angle and a side. And that's enough to use trigonometry to find another side, namely this altitude. So that's what we're going to do. From the perspective of this angle, this side is the opposite side. And the side that we know is 8 is the hypotenuse of that right triangle. So we could say the sine of 39 degrees equals uh, the opposite. That's our, our value here, our height, over the hypotenuse, which is 8. So if we wanted to solve for height in this equation, we would just multiply both sides by 8. So that's height. And I think what I'm going to do is just take that and put it right in my uh, area formula. I know the base of this triangle. It's 12. So we can say area equals 1 half the base, which is 12, times the height, which is 8 times the sine of 39 degrees. Now, for all that, we'll need to pull out a calculator. So I'm typing in 39 and hitting sine. And then we're going to multiply by 8. And we'll multiply by 1 half of 12, which is 6. And I get 30.02 and some change. They want the nearest hundredth. So 30 point looks like 30.21. And our units here are inches. And this is area, so it's going to be inches squared. So that is how to use trig to find the area of a triangle.